Hey everybody, Luxinda Swirl here at New Day New Cup Project. Instead of starting from scratch, we are going to take a cup that didn't turn out the way I wanted and we are going to do something else with it. So it's not quite new. So recently I had a customer uh, contact me and ask me for a cup that I'd made a while ago. Put a picture here. And she wanted that in a bigger form. And you saw me in a previous video make this. Beautiful, I call it the Galaxy Stardust with Chameleon Mica Halls from Woody's Goodies and a white on top to make it all swirl around. Before I did this one and it turned out beautiful the way I wanted it to, I actually ended up with this. And there's nothing wrong with this, it's pretty, but I didn't get the swirls side by side. I did not get the same result at all. I wanted this and I got more of a blobby cloud thing. It's interesting, but it's definitely not what I want. I also don't want to strip it. I don't want to start over. So we are going to repurpose it and we are going to use some of Mr. Nola's Glitter's new sticky sheets to do that. I will put the name of this particular design on the screen because of course I've already forgotten it. And we are going to wrap this around this cup. And the reason I picked this one out of all the others I have is because there are some complicated complementary colors going on. There's gold, there's blue, lots of purples. And the neat thing about these sticky sheets, which are the peekaboo sticky sheets, is that some of the graphics do not show anything underneath. They're, they're printed on white ink, but around them it's all clear and you see what's behind the sticky sheet. So this will show through and I think it's going to end up being kind of pretty. So I need to trim this down and then we'll wrap it around and we'll see where we end up. I'll do some trimming and we'll come back in a minute. I didn't trim it particularly straight. My bad. I was kind of sloppy. Uh, so it doesn't match up perfectly, but that's, I'm not going to worry about it. I will trim the edges off with my cup trimmer. the overlap here. There we go. Okay. That's kind of cool. Okay, I'm going to use my cup edging tool. This is called an, a cup edging tool or an edge trimmer. Uh, I have three washers in it right now and a brand new blade. We are gonna use that to trim the top and the bottom here. I'm gonna start at the seam. Hopefully you can see this. Start at the seam. So it's easy to tell when I've gone all the way around. Push the cup up against the blade and turn the cup at the same time without, you know, hurting myself. Ta-da! All right, so here's where we are. <laughs> That's actually kind of pretty. Okay, I found these already cut. I have two of these strips left. They are, I think, 0.15 inches wide by about 11 inches long, which should go around. So I'm gonna put one at the top and the bottom. I think they will look nice. Let's see if I can do, do this edging. like that. Uh, I don't want the vinyl strips to lift and I don't want any of the edge to lift. So I think what I'm going to do, I don't have any sunshine today, so I'm not going to do my usual UV resin trick to tack things down. I'm going to put on a little bit of CC DIY, Culture Counter DIY's Urethane Sealer Quick Coat. I will put some here. I'm just going to put it on with my finger and I will put some above and below and on the vinyl stripes striping all the way around. That should do it. I'll let it dry and then I will put on a complete coat of resin. I am absolutely going to include some Marabou Rainbow Alcohol Ink in the epoxy resin that goes over the entire cup. So everything will have a bit of a sparkle to it. I think that will help bring it all together and then we'll see it out in the sunshine. <laughs> 